I am alive forever and ever. Revelation 1, 18. I am alive forever and ever. Revelation 1, 18. How deep, how wide, how long is the love of Jesus? How big, how high, how strong is the love of Jesus? Jesus is my friend for life, and I know I will never be without him. I'll never be. Jesus is my friend for life, and I know I will never be.
hands are lifted high, can't be shy, I won't be afraid I am alive forever and ever. Revelation 1.18 I am alive forever and ever. Revelation 1.18 10 Bonjour, friends. It is I, Chef Peton. <laughs> Just kidding, it's me, Peyton. Today, I'm helping my mom cook breakfast for my friends. We're cooking eggs and toast. Yummy! But first, I have to put on all my chef things. Number one, I have to put on an apron to keep the food from getting on my clothes. Number two, a chef's hat to keep my hair out of the food. Number three, an oven mitt, just to keep my hands safe in case anything is hot. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Peyton. Who? Who? Cooking breakfast, are you? Yes, I am cooking breakfast for my friends. Cooking for your friends is a loving thing to do. I have a story about that for you. Listen up. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Hola, friends. I'm Luis the Handyman. I'm just finishing up my breakfast. <laughs> what do you like to eat for breakfast? Raise your hand if you like to eat cereal. Oh yeah. What about rice? Oh, does anybody like to eat yogurt? Mm. Who likes eggs? <laughs> yep. Breakfast is delicious and it's actually an important part of our story today. Do you want to help me build it? <laughs> Great. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible happens not long after Easter. Do you remember what happened in the Easter story? Jesus died, and then three days later... Can you count with me? One, two, three... Jesus came back! Jesus is alive! 
At first, when he died, Jesus' friends were so sad. Can you show me your sad faces? Mm -hmm. But then, let's count again. One, two, three. On the third day, Jesus came back. Now, how do you think his friends felt when he came back? Show me what face you would make. <gasps> yes! Happy! Jesus' friends were so happy because Jesus is alive. Jesus wanted to spend time with his friends so they could see that he wants to be their friend forever. So, one day, Jesus went to see his friends while they were fishing. Look, it's Jesus. <laughs> Jesus is alive. Peter was so excited, he jumped in the water. Splash! <laughs> and Peter swam right to Jesus. Guess what Jesus did next? Jesus made his friends breakfast. <laughs> Jesus told them he loved them and that he would always be their friend forever and ever. <laughs> and you know what? Jesus loves you so much and he wants to be your friend too, forever and ever. <gasps> oh. When I count to three, let's say, Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Ready? One, two, three. Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's right, friends. Jesus is alive. And Jesus wants to be your friend forever. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who is alive? Jesus is alive. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is alive? Jesus is alive. That's the truth, friends. Adios. <laughs> So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus is alive and wants to be our friend forever, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow. Jesus cooked breakfast for his friends to show that he would be their friend forever. And Jesus wants to be our friend forever, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. Jesus wants to be my friend forever. I'm going to go cook breakfast for my friends and tell them that Jesus wants to be their friend forever too. See you next time. Bye!